Try always to put realism into your calling. Remember, you're attempting to imitate a rabbit, bird, or rodent in distress. So inject anguish, fear, and panic into the sounds you make. Something perhaps like this. Now, let's listen to some recorded sounds of actual living creatures in distress. You do not necessarily have to imitate these exactly, but these show you the actual sounds that animals hear. First, a jackrabbit. Now, a jackrabbit with a higher-pitched voice. Now a cottontail. Here is another cottontail. Now listen to a baby cottontail. Now a domestic rabbit in difficulty. You will notice that different rabbits have different voices. Even among the same species, individuals may differ, just as do the voices of people. Thus, you can readily see that your call does not have to sound exactly like any particular kind of rabbit. Predators have heard these differing voices, too. But obviously, if jackrabbits or cottontails are predominant in your area, then it will be best to use the pitch of the most common species voice. Here now are some other sounds of interest. Here is a meadowlark in trouble. This is how a bob white quail sounds when caught by a predator. Listen to this woodpecker in distress, a terrific calling sound, especially for cats and coyotes. I've used these examples to illustrate for you how many distress sounds a wild animal is likely to hear during its lifetime. We could add many more. Thus, you can see that the numerous variations in your calling sounds may well be immensely intriguing to predators. The reason rabbit sounds are so generally successful is that rabbits range over the entire continent, and all predators utilize them as a staple of diet.